guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, and uh, today we're going to learn about indices and square numbers. So, so that as we go along, you'll be able to apply these laws of indices and squares. Okay, so uh, this number 9 is called our base. So this is our base. And the exponent is 0. So any number which has a power of 0 is equal to 1. If a number has uh, an exponent of 1 half or 9 to the power of 1 half, it means that we find the square root of 9. And square root of 9 is 3. If a number has a power of 2 over 3, we are going to uh, do the denominator first, the 3, which means that we find the cube root of 8. So, cube root of 8. And then the 2 means that we are going to square the number. So, cube root of 8 is 2 squared. Final answer will be 4. Next, 2 over 3, so it's a fraction and enclosed in a bracket. And uh, there is square, so it means both of them are going to square. So 2 squared is 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 squared is 3 times 3, 9. So our answer is 4 over 9. Okay, how about if 2 is negative? So 2 over 3, 2 over 3, the same numbers, but it's just negative. This one is positive 2, this is negative 2. So what we're going to do is we express it in a uh, positive way, meaning instead of 4 over 9, since it is negative, it becomes 9 over 4. Okay? Now let's go to squares. Okay, so these numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100, these are called perfect squares. From 1 to 100. Okay, so square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4 is 2. Because 1 times 1 is 1. So its square root is 1. And uh, square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 16 is 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. So it means that when we are looking for the square root of a square number, we just find the number which when multiplied by itself will give you the number. So square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, how about square root of 36? It's equal to 6. Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 64 is 8. And square root of 81 is 9. Well, square root of 100 is 10, because 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from my video today, and I hope that you're going to review these laws of indices and this square so that when you uh, answer the problems or exercises, it will be able, uh, it will be uh, easier for you to answer it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that this will be helpful. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Bye!